Boxing King Media in association with the Riyadh season. Delighted to be joined by True Jordy, somebody I probably thought I'd never ever see in Saudi Arabia. Is that a fair opening statement? I mean, I'm a classic northerner and I've barely been out of Europe. I'm not really very well travelled, I've got to admit. But I'm glad I am now. You know what I mean? I'm enjoying this. It's good. You're sweating buckets because it's about 30 odd degrees. It's I thought I was bit... putting it off, but you've, you've really fucked us there. No, you are sweating buckets, man, likewise. But I've got to say, you've just got off the plane. You walked straight into Boulevard City. The backdrop can kind of tell the fans a bit of an idea. You just kind of explain what you can see around you. You know what? I'm very rarely lost for words, but I have to admit, I'm being a bit mind blown. Like all of these big lights and everything going on back here. It's like they've created a brand new Vegas and uh, everyone's really nice, everything's chill. It's, it's really relaxed, isn't it? It's not like, you, we've all been to boxing shows where you're like, anything can kick off, yeah, like. Whereas, yeah, it's so laid back, man. It's just good family vibes. Is I'm pretty sure a lot of your listeners are going to be watching that going, oh, he's been bought out, he's been brought in just to say all this. So what do you say to him? Because there'll be somebody commenting that right now. What do you say to that person? They had me when they bought Newcastle. They didn't have to pay me a penny, mate. I'm, as, the fact that they've got Newcastle is all I needed to know, right? They're looking after my football club. But look, I've, genuinely, I'm a massive boxing fan. I prove that every single day. And if I get an excuse to go and watch a fight like this, I'm not going to say no. So yeah, if anyone's got a problem with it, that's their problem. Fair play. Uh, do, do people know what you're here for, what you're going to be doing on fight night? So uh, we've got a few things. I've just done a podcast with Eddie Hearn, which will be out uh, probably by the time this comes out, maybe a little bit after, uh, which was a good sit down with the big man. And then on the night of the fights, for the first time to my knowledge in YouTube history, we're doing a live stream inside the arena, a watch along. Traditionally, when I started watch alongs, it was in my house, in my rooms, just out of a studio. And now we've taken all the way from the studio into the arena and just over my shoulder as we're calling the fight is going to be the, right, the fight as walk into the ring. That's mind blowing. I went to the stadium the day. It's as good as any stadium I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, not quite St. James's maybe. I love Newcastle Stadium. But if I'm being honest, it might not, like, it's probably better. It's like, it's the most amazing architecture that I've ever seen. And uh, even in the like, um, the VIP boxes, you think you're in a hotel. I've never seen how like it. I'm just curious, you know, before you came here, what were your assumptions? What did you think you was going to walk into before you got off that plane? I'll be honest, when I don't know, I don't assume, so I really didn't have a clue. Uh, when you see, you know, the documentaries on Netflix that they put out for, uh, I think, Battle of the Baddest, I was like, oh, wow, I, I need to go and check this out. But um, it's even better. The hospitality is amazing, the people are dead friendly, and uh, the food's good. I mean, look at us, I like my food, so... Obviously, infrastructure, you talked on it there, like this place behind it's like a mini New York, but the screens are like pretty mental. Yeah, I know people are like, oh, you know, you're preaching or whatever about Saudi, but like, well, can you not just say if something's good? Do you know what I mean? I've been to lots of good places in my life. I like it. And uh, and I can see why the fighters want to come here, because they do look after them. They, do, they, they treat them like the people that, you know, they are, they're gladiators. And um, I think we're going to see a lot more massive fights here, aren't we? I've got to ask you, the Fury Usyk uh, fight that just happened recently, they've announced that the rematch is happening in December. I've asked the, the promoters why it's December and they've said it's because of the, you know, the workout that both guys had, you know, the, the, uh, the bodies need a longer time to recover and all that kind of stuff. They want some time off. So can you see Tyson Fury making the adjustments to win a potential rematch? Adjustment wise, it's the strategy that needs to change. I don't really think he needs to, maybe he could come in heavier, you know, so that when he does land those shots, an extra five, 10 pounds might, might help him. But the strategy to, to box on the back foot, I, all in my prediction, people will be commenting right now, True Doherty doesn't know what he's talking about. Check my Usyk versus Fury prediction. There's not a single prediction online that comes close to what I did. I outlaid exactly what, would do, what he would do wrong, uh, what, he would, what he should do, and if he didn't, which he wouldn't do, because the reason no one goes after Usyk is because they can't risk the gas tank going, because that's when he'll get finished. But the key is, is that's the only way to beat him. It's like, the, uh, I don't know if you've seen The Dark Knight Rises, where he can't jump over the edge because he's got the rope on him because he's scared. But you have to risk everything to beat a Usyk because he's too good. He doesn't make mistakes. You have to force the mistakes. And if you go, af go after him and you lose anyway, well, you were going to lose because you weren't going to win a decision. So you've got to treat it like we've got nine rounds max to get him out of there. And if not, we're losing anyway. So just treat it like a nine round fight. And he didn't do that. 
He tried to stay with him, and you can't stay with him when you're that much heavier. You can't match a use of gas tank or his IQ. What, what did you make of the corner work? That's been like a bit, bit of a hot topic. Well, I believe that the corner was part of the, the this organisation of the camp, but also remember what AJ's corner were like. Usyk does this to people. Uh, you win an AJ, good on you AJ. Remember that in the first fight, AJ on the way to the ring, not knowing what he was going to do. Usyk gets the the fear of God into these fights strategically, and I just think like people think more more help means I'll win. It's not true. It's not going to happen. Fair play. Well, the press conference is going to start. Quick prediction. Without, rather than going through all the fights, who do you think is going to win Queensbury or Matchroom? Queensbury. That's into 3 2 or like what kind of score? I, I don't, I'm, I'm, looking at, um, I'm looking at the captain, uh, Shiraz. What a sharpshooter he is. And um, I also think, I feel like Zhang's going to get the win. And I feel like the captains are going to be the key uh, difference makers. And I just don't think Wilder has the fire. When, I, when I'm watching him, I'm like, you're just not that serial killer I used to, do you know what I mean? He's, too, he's, he's the nice wilder and that's that's not bomb squad for me. Like, That's fascinating. Have you had a meeting with His Excellency yet? And uh, if not, is there one in the, on the pipeline? Uh, I haven't, I haven't, but he, he, like, he said uh, he liked my videos, so that was enough for me. I appreciate that, you know what I mean? But just on the same context, you just said to me that you like the content that we do. Yeah. You like the Dominic Ingle interviews and some yeah. of the stuff we've done. And obviously, likewise, I love your stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure meeting you Mate, for the first time properly. Well done, pal, and uh, keep up the good work, man. Well done. Stay in touch. Thank you, Brian.